What is up guys and welcome back to the channel guy. Hey, we finna check out the top 10 cities to visit in Europe. I seen that I haven't really did, I did a lot of top 10 uh, places to travel uh, in like different countries, but we finna check out some cities in Europe. So uh, I believe this is my guy Ryan Shirley. I always got some good videos. My guy actually going around the world. So y'all hit that subscribe button, send down those recommendations and let's check it out. What's up guys, my name is Ryan Shirley and I spent the last few years exploring that Europe nice. and I want to show you my favorite cities. So here's my European cities top 10. Europe is home to some of the world's most interesting cities from the ancient history of Athens to the billionaire's playground of Monte Carlo. Uh -huh. Europe cities offer so much variety and diversity. Let's start this video off at the beautiful city Ooh, of Lucerne. Switzerland. Located in the heart of Switzerland, Lucerne is a picturesque lake city surrounded by the Swiss Alps. It's just a short 40 minute drive from Zurich. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite parts of Lucerne is all of its medieval buildings and architecture. Lucerne is home to Chapel Bridge, which is the world's oldest surviving truss bridge. It was built over 60 years ago nice. in 1365. It almost burned down in 1993, but it was reconstructed and it's now open to the public. Another uh, impressive place in Lucerne is the Museg Wall Museg and Towers. Wall. The fortifications began in the 13th century and it's made up of nine stone towers that were used as a defense wall during medieval mm. times. Aside from all the history, Lucerne is just a beautiful city to walk around and explore the lake and all the surrounding scenery. Okay, Switzerland. This look real nice. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have to add Switzerland to the list to travel to. Lucerne is just a beautiful city to walk around and explore the lake and all the surrounding scenery. I mean, it's hard to beat the beauty of this Swiss city. All right, after Lucerne, we're gonna head over to Portugal to visit the Lisbon. vibrant city of Lisbon. Okay, Being one of the Portugal. oldest cities in the world, Lisbon is wow. Europe's second oldest capital city after Athens. I mean, there's just so much culture and history in the city. You can check out the Sanctuary oh. of Christ the King Monument. It reminds me of a mixture of Rio de Janeiro and San Francisco's bridge. The that does. Uh, that's right. what I was. That do look like the San Francisco. Wow. That's I amazing. A mixture of Rio de Janeiro and San Francisco's bridge. The Commerce Square is another beautiful Ooh. spot to explore. One of the coolest parks in Lisbon is the Parque, Parque Eduardo, Eduardo VII. It's full of beautifully designed wow. houses. Wow, almost look, almost like it's a little maze. That is unique, right there. To enjoy the afternoon or evening. The Belém Tower Belém. is also an important monument that served as a point of embarkation for Portuguese explorers. Lisbon is also close to some stunning Ooh. beaches such as Ursa Beach. I haven't been to Lisbon yet, but certainly one of the first new European cities I want to explore. All right, so Definitely after gotta Lisbon, put that on we're going to head over Italy to visit Italy. the famous town of Positano. Positano. Located on the Amalfi Coast, Positano is a seaside village that's about a three and a half hour drive from Rome. Ooh. Back in the first century, luxury Roman villas were built on the coast here. It was believed to be the home of mythical sirens that would seduce sailors to crash upon the rocky shores. Right. Positano was a somewhat poor fishing village during the first half of the 20th century but tourism began to gain traction in the 1950s especially after john steinbeck wrote about positano in his essay where he said it is a dream place that isn't mm. quite real when you are there and becomes beckoningly real after you are gone when you see this place in real life i think you'll feel the same as steinbeck i mean it's just hard to beat the beauty of this place the backdrop of the mountains filled with colorful villas against the Mediterranean nice. sea filled with boats and yachts. It's just jaw dropping. Wow. Positano Ooh. is quite a touristy destination, so be aware you Man, may Man, that is, I ain't gonna lie. It's jaw dropping. Positano. This is screensaver worthy right here, man. That's a nice view. Look at how lit up it is. That is Positano nice. It's quite a touristy destination, so be aware you maybe get some crowds, especially during the summer, but the beauty is worth that price if you ask me. I mean, just such a stunning location. All right, after Italy, we're going to visit possibly the most iconic city in London. the world, London. I've traveled more to London than any other international destination. I love this city so much, and I just keep coming back for more. Everything from double-decker buses to the energy of Piccadilly mm -hmm. Circus makes Ooh. the city feel so alive. There's just so many places to see. You can check out the iconic Big Ben and walk across the bridge to see the Palace of Westminster. There's the Tower Bridge, which is possibly the most famous bridge wow. in all London. You can go see the Stoic Guards at Buckingham. Buckingham Palace or take a ride on the London Eye. If you haven't already been to London, I highly recommend visiting. Hey, London. definitely got definitely got London on the list, man. That is or take this a is ride nice. On the London Eye. 
If you haven't already been to London, I highly recommend visiting when you can. It's hard to beat London's atmosphere. There's no city like it in the world. While we're still in the UK, we're gonna head over to Edinburgh. If Edinburgh. you want to go back in time, Edinburgh is a must. It's where God, J.K. Man. Rowling wrote her Harry Potter novels. Oh, wow. When I started traveling, this was one of the first cities I visited. It's a medieval town with intricate neoclassical buildings, cobblestone oh, streets, nice. and beautiful <laughs> gardens. The iconic Edinburgh Castle overlooks the city and it's home to Scotland's crown jewels. One of my favorite places in Edinburgh is Calton Hill that just offers a beautiful view of the nice. entire city. Another cool spot in Edinburgh Arthur's is Arthur's Seat. Seat. It's located in Hollyrod Park and it's a short walk from Edinburgh Center. Arthur's Seat is an extinct volcano with an elevation wow. of 823 feet. When I was there, I wanted to get as high as I could so I could see all of Edinburgh. I made the hike up and reached the top. I just had a good time Dang. hiking around Hollywood Park and enjoying the views of one of Europe's most beautiful cities. After Edinburgh, we're gonna head down to Croatia to visit the medieval town Ooh, of Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik. Now, located in southern Croatia, Dubrovnik is one of the most popular medieval cities in Europe. The history of Dubrovnik dates back to the 7th century mm -hmm. when it was founded by refugees. During the 14th century to 1808, Dubrovnik was ruled as a free state. One of the most notable features of Dubrovnik are the walls that surround the old city. They are almost 2 kilometers in length and they are anywhere wow. from 4 to 6 meters thick. They were used to protect the city throughout history. The unique look of the mm. city has made it a popular filming location. Dubrovnik was featured That's in King incredible. of Thrones as it was used to depict the city of King's Landing. After Croatia, we're going to head up north to visit Czech Republic to visit the capital city of Prague. Republic. Due to its location and rich history, Prague is known as the political, cultural, and economic center of Europe. Prague was the capital of the Kingdom of Bohemia and was the main residence of many Roman mm. emperors such as Charles IV. One of my favorite attractions is the Charles, Charles Bridge. Bridge. Its construction began in 1357 oh and my it wasn't gosh. finished until the beginning of the 15th century. The bridge is decorated Dang, with... Dang, so over a hundred years to build a bridge? Dang, that's, that's a long time. And it wasn't finished until the Still beginning good, of the 15th though. century. The bridge is decorated with an alley of over 30 statues. I mean, it's just so scenic and such a great feature in Prague. The Old Town Square is also a great place to explore. And the Prague Castle is another beautiful sight to see. It's considered to mm. be the largest ancient castle in the world. And it was built more than a thousand years ago wow. in the 9th century. I mean, that's a freaking long time. Very Prague long. has such a historic vibe and I hope all can visit. After Prague, we're gonna head over Spain to visit the Barcelona. famous city of Barcelona. And when you think of Spain, Ooh. this is what you probably imagine. Barcelona is home to incredible architecture, nice. Mediterranean beaches, and an energetic vibe all around. When I was in Barcelona, I wanted to get a good vantage point of the whole city, so I hiked up this place called Mirador de las Batteries. It's a wild spot that offers a 360 panoramic Dang. view of the city. The most iconic attraction in Barcelona is La Sagrada Familia. It's this Roman Catholic minor basilica that began construction over 138 wow. years ago and it still isn't finished. It's anticipated that construction will be finished in 2026, but who knows? All oh I know is one gosh. of the most unique buildings in the world. And I stuck this it. is incredible. Actually, after seeing like the bridge and some other things in other vid previous videos that I did, how long it take to build some of these buildings and there's still one that's kind of actively still being built. That's incredible. Over hundreds of years to build these things. I can't get my head around that it's been construction since 1882. Alright, uh, after Spain, we're going to head over to Greece to visit the city of Athens. Athens. It's the capital and largest city in Greece, and it's one of the world's oldest cities. Athens is such a wild place with so much history. One of my favorite places in mm. Athens is Acropolis. If you want to get into Parthenon, Acropolis. it costs about 20 euros, so it's a little expensive, but it's totally worth it, especially if you're there. When I went to the Acropolis, I was able to get some of my favorite time lapses over the city. They're just an endless sea of white That's buildings nice. with mountains in the background. If you do go to Greece, I recommend exploring Athens for at least a day or two. It's just such a unique nice. place. Alright, so for our last location, we're going to visit the tiny country of Monaco to see Monaco. the city of Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Now, Monaco is mm. the second smallest country after the Vatican. The whole country That's is nice. only 499 acres. Wow. Monaco has been known as a billionaire's playground and over one third of Monaco citizens are millionaires. One Dang. reason why Monaco draws the rich is because it's a tax haven. There are no income taxes and other tax rates are extremely wow. low. One of the most famous places in Monaco is the Monte Carlo Casino. It was opened in 1863 and has been featured in the James Bond films. Another nice. annual tourist attraction in Monaco is the Grand Prix. 
I'd love to see some race cars ripping through the city there. Wow. If you can handle the riches of Monte Carlo and Monaco, it's definitely a place to add to your European city bucket list. Well, that is definitely gotta add 10. that. Europe is such a unique region of the world. There's just so many beautiful cities in Europe. I literally could have did a top 100 list, so it's really hard to narrow it down to 10. Let me know in the comments below where your favorite European city is. If you guys want a free Man, live or some free stock footage. That, that is dope. That is dope. I pretty subscribe. Even the relaxation. Man, I definitely got to check out that top. I think, I do think you got like a top 25, top 100 in Europe, places to visit in Europe. The videos are long, super long, but I might check it out. I might check it out. I gotta check out places to visit in Scandinavia as well and Germany more. But man, this was incredible. Definitely, definitely some places that I gotta visit on this list. Uh, definitely the Monte Carlo. I uh, gotta go to London. Man, I, I just love it. Just love it. Just can't wait to visit Europe. Can't wait. But guys, this is all I have for this video. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Send down those recommendations, and y'all be blessed, be the best, and be you. I'm out.